an extreme sea level scenario published by NOAA, probably unlikely but possible, would pose a severe threat to coastal cities throughout the US and world. This video will walk you through how to use Climate Central's KML file within the new Google Earth web interface. Download the extreme scenario KML file. In a new browser, window, or tab, visit the Google Earth web. Keep this video or the instructions open in this window and refer to them as you configure Google Earth in the second window. In the Google Earth window you opened, open the My Places tab from the menu bar on the left. It's the second icon from the bottom. In the Google Earth window you opened, enable KML import in settings at the bottom of the My Places frame. At the bottom of the settings pop-up, activate the slider by enable KML file import and hit save. Still in the My Places frame, choose Import KML File and open the Extreme Scenario KML file you've downloaded. It may take a few seconds or even a minute for Google Earth to load the KML file. From the Google Earth menu bar, open the search frame. Search for your favorite U.S. coastal city. Google Earth may not have 3D buildings available in some areas. The Extreme Scenario KML layer is only available for places in the U.S. It may take a full minute for the KML file to load into your Google Earth map. Zoom in close to an area of interest. Use the 3D button in the Google Earth controls in the lower right corner, or hold Shift, then click and drag to change the map perspective. For performance reasons, the sea level layer will only appear when viewing areas covering about 3 miles or less. The floodplain is most accurate at very close zooms. This KML file can also be opened in Google Earth Desktop. For more information on our methods and sources, click the eye icon in the top right of the screen. Thanks for watching.